lastly, I would like to thank all of you for coming to our rallies over the last one week. Thank you. I would like to devote this speech to the voters of Al Juni GRC in particular. My friends, a few days ago, the Straits Times reported that about 30 PAP posters in Al Juni GRC were missing. And 29 had been vandalized. Now, I don't know who did this. But on behalf of the Workers' Party, I would like to request all Singaporeans that no such act be repeated during cooling off day. The elections are a period of time where emotions run high and where the Workers' Party pushes hard to fight for a better Singapore than we had over the last five years. The Workers' Party The Workers' Party has been fighting for Singapore since 1957 and we plan on continuing to do so in future. But even then, my fellow Singaporeans, let us work to keep our politics civil and clean. and not engage in acts of vandalism or indulge in political smear campaigns. Or insinuate that someone is playing politics just because he speaks up for his fellow Singaporeans. I am proud to say that the Workers' Party has strove to retain a sense of discipline and decorum in Singapore politics. And these elections were no different. We raised national issues rationally, respectably, and responsibly. It does not matter if you are a Chinese a Malay, an Indian, or a Eurasian. You must expect the Workers' Party to speak up for you and your community. After all, this is in the national interest and this is in Singapore's interest. to the youth of Singapore. Yes. These elections present us with a historic moment. This is not just an ordinary election where we choose one party over the other. These elections are about changing the spirit and substance of Singapore politics. The Prime Minister has said sorry, and this is a good start. I hope I am right that this signals a new and honourable brand of politics in Singapore. Where opposition MPs and Singaporeans who support opposition parties are treated as equal citizens who are loyal to Singapore. To the 
mainstream media coverage this year has been better than years gone by. But as a voter, can I suggest to you that there is much more room for improvement? Like the PAP, the mainstream media also has to step up and play its part in shaping a more honorable brand of politics in Singapore. Now my friends, let me share with you one hard truth which Singapore may be forced to accept. When we wake up on the 8th of May, Parliament may be represented by 87 PAP MPs and no opposition members. This may happen, especially if you consider how many obstacles are placed before the opposition in Singapore. But, whatever happens, especially to the youth of Singapore, never give up on this country! Thank you. Thank you. If there is one thread that runs through the Workers' Party manifesto, it is the thread of transparency and accountability. To the youth of Singapore, these are two words you should never forget when dealing with any political party in Singapore, not just the PAP, not just the Workers' Party. 21st century governance in Singapore calls for a new relationship between the citizens and the government. It is my hope, my fellow Singaporeans, and it does not matter which party you support or root for, I hope you do your national duty. Raise the standards of governance in Singapore by holding any government to the high standards of transparency and accountability, regardless what happens after polling day. To the undecided voters of Arjunit, I apologize if we have not been able to convince you to vote for the Workers' Party. Yet, we are a small party, membership remains small, but since the last elections in 2006, the Workers' Party has knocked on the doors of nearly all the 500 overflats in Arjunit GRC. Residents of Aljonet, you want the best for your country, as would all Singaporeans of every race and religion. But to the undecided voters of Aljonet, do allow me today to leave you with the words of Mr. Nyam Tong Dao, who when he retired from the civil service in 1999, had served as the permanent secretary of no less than six ministries in Singapore. In an interview with the Straits Times in 2003, he was asked, Will Singapore survive beyond Senior Minister Lee Kuan Yew? And this is what Mr. Nyam Tong Dao had to say. 
unequivocally, yes, Singapore will survive. Provided, provided, Senior Minister, I beg your pardon, currently Minister Bento Lee leaves the right legacy. What sort of legacy he wants to leave is for him to say. But I dare to suggest to him that we should open up politically and allow talent to be spread throughout society so that an alternative leadership can emerge. Yeah. Unless Minister Mentor Lee allows serious political challenges to emerge from the alternative elite out there, the incumbent elite will just coast along. I think our leaders have to accept that Singapore is larger than the PNP. To conclude, I think the voters of our Judith have a right to know how we as an opposition will behave in Parliament. Should we be bestowed with the privilege of representing the residents of our Judith? To this end, I can only quote the words of the founder of the Workers' Party, Mr. David Marshall. This is what Minister David Ma Mr. David Marshall said. To play dirty, to be vicious and malicious, to be obstructive for the sake of filth, for the sake of making a point, for the sake of personal glory or party advantage, is to act criminally. The duty of an opposition is to act with vigour in guiding and criticising with integrity the conduct of the government to make heard the voices of the minority without fear. My friends, let me repeat what Mr. David Marshall said. The duty of an opposition is to act with vigour in guiding and criticising with integrity the conduct of the government to make heard the voices of the minority without fear. My friends, it is my commitment to you that the Aljunit GRC Workers' Party team will make worthy first world parliamentarians. Yeah. My friends, your vote is precious, but the vote is yours. Whatever you choose, I promise you, on behalf of the Workers' Party, we will respect the choice of Singaporeans. But I ask you to join us in moving towards a first world parliament and vote for the Workers' Party. My friends, thank you very much for your support. Thank you.